Mac Voices is sponsored by Rogue Amoeba, makers of Audio Hijack Pro, the most versatile audio recording tool on the Mac. With Audio Hijack Pro, you can record any audio playing through your Mac. Record from software applications like iTunes, Skype, or DVD player, or record from microphones and other hardware. If you can hear it on your Mac, Audio Hijack can record it. Best of all, get Audio Hijack Pro for 20% off with the coupon code MACVOICES13. Don't delay. Download the free trial from rogamoeba.com right now, then purchase online. Thanks to Rogue Amoeba for sponsoring this edition of Mac Voices. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. Mac Voices is at Macworld iWorld 2013 in San Francisco. When we last left you in 2012, we were talking to Paul from Recosoft who promised us new products in 2013. It's 2013, Paul, what do we got? Oh, we have a whole bunch of new products this year, Chuck. You know, you know. It's good to see you again, oh, by the way. it's good to see you, oh, yeah. oh sorry. Yeah. Yeah. We have to start it off with a laugh, yeah. don't we? <laughs> well, we always have some, have some fun with this. Okay, so we started off this year with PDF Office for iPad. PDF Office for iPad is a new addition to our software lineup and we designed this specifically for the iPad. As you know, we make PDF conversion technology and we've been doing this for the last, you know, N number of years. Mm -hmm. And we decided to take the great leap to the iPad. So we m migrated and moved everything to the iPad. So now you can convert PDFs to iWork, to OmniGraffle, to the Office formats on the iPad. We actually have three separate applications. One is called PDF to Office for iWork. Then we have PDF to Office Business, which is for Office and OmniGraffle, and we have PDF to Office Lite, which converts PDFs to text and RTF. These are all th three separate products for the iPad. Okay. I, I'm, I'm kind of curious, you'll have to explain to us why, because a lot of us are already used to sharing things over to the iPad. What does PDF to iPad bring to the table? Well, what it does is, when you're on the iPad, one of the most uh, tough things is that you can't access PDF data readily on the iPad, which means, let's say somebody sends you a PDF, it's got a tabulated form or tabulated data, and you really want to gather that data on the iPad, and you want to sum it up, or you want to add it, or you want to grab a paragraph, you really can't do it easily, um, because the iPad doesn't really have a nice interface for typing in numbers or, or text. You could go through the soft keyboard, but again, it's very cumbersome and very uh, difficult to do. Right, okay. And so this solves that problem. This brings it in as something a bit more uh, in a native format or native to the product I'm bringing it into. Exactly. It's native to the iWork formats, which is pages, keynote, and numbers. Um, it's native to the office formats, which is Word, Excel, PowerPoint. And we also go to OmniGraffle. Very nice. Can you show us a little bit? Sure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over right over here. Okay. And if you see the main screen, so here we have PDF to Office. I've got this mirrored. PDF to Office for iPad running on the iPad. And I have the iWork version. So we have this little spreadsheet here that came in as a PDF, and I really want to take this data and convert it. And I want to manipulate it in numbers. So what I want to do is just tap numbers over here, and tap convert, and it'll convert to the numbers format. And once, it, once I convert it to the numbers format, I just tap numbers, and it'll open up the document in numbers, right there. And everything is? live and editable. Right there, no typing in, all numerics. What's even greater with PDF to Office for iPad is that we really thought about the iPad user. We tried to blend away any of the complexities that are involved in the desktop interface, and we went ahead and made it extremely user-friendly, so you don't really have to do much. Let me show you a really good example of this, you don't have to really do much uh, uh, example. We have this area select tool and PDF to Office. Let's say we just want to grab this column of data. You really just want this column of data and you don't want anything else. Use the area select tool, mark out an area that you want converted, just mark it out, and voila, you get to convert to all these formats. So let's go to numbers again. Goes to numbers, it's processing it, go back to numbers. We've got it in numbers now, and we see that it's just that column of data that came into the numbers format. Now you have a pure numbers spreadsheet which you can manipulate and, and work with. We've gone even additionally further, is let's say we have a data, let's take this document over here, and I have this paragraph right over here, and I want to send it to my friend via email. Use the area select tool, again, just tap it, select the area, and you see this little 
option here, send to mail. Just tap send to mail. It'll construct new mail for you. And there you go. The text is right there. No typing in. The, it's obvious when you're doing it, but it's worth pointing out, I think, that when you do the conversion, it, it sends it straight to it and opens it in the target application. So it's not like I'm saving it somewhere and then have to go and open it, like maybe you do on a little bit more in a desktop environment. Exactly. And that just makes life easier. Of course. We're here to make your life easy. <laughs> we appreciate it. How much would it cost to make my life easier? <laughs> <laughs> well, PDF to Office for iPad, there are three flavors. One is PDF to Office Business. Uh, that retails for $14.99. Uh, that converts to the Office and OmniGraphle formats. Um, PDF to Office for iWork is $14.99, which converts to the iWork formats, pages, keynote, and numbers. And we have PDF to Office Lite, um, which is just to text and RTF formats. Okay. So you, we've got three levels of apps and th three different flavors, I guess, and you're covering all these serious productivity apps on the iPad. Exactly. We try to address the entire array of users that are on the iPad. And this is your first foray into the iPad software. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. We are, have a lot of users. We have a lot of you know uh, feedback, and a lot of users have al already given us a lot of feedback about what they want to see in future editions of PDF to Office for iPad. And, you know, again, we're, we're going to have a lot more apps come out. I'll hold you to it. <laughs> you always do. <laughs> and oh, I always deliver, don't I? You always do. That's, you know, i got to give you credit. Every year, if you promise me something, I've got it the next year. Definitely. <laughs> Paul, it's good to see you. The, we the website for the folks who want to learn more, um, obviously, these are in the, the uh, iOS app store, but where do people go to learn more? They go to recosoft.com. That's R-E-C-O-S-O-F-T.com. Terrific. It's good to see you, Paul. Good to see you. Folks, we'll have more from Macworld iWorld 2013 in San Francisco. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group at macvoicesgroup.com. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com.